So in this module, we've seen how to use the built-in class loaders and to write our own class loader. So typically, if we want to do something specific with class loading, we'll use URL class loader. And URL class loader takes an array of URLs, and these could be file-based, so this can point at the file system. They could be HTTP-based to point at an HTTP server, a web server, or some other protocol that's supported by uh, the URLs in, within Java. We can also write our own class loader, and to do that, we would extend java.lang.classloader. Remember, this class loader that we write also has to have the ability to load all the classes the application needs. And the typical way to do that is to delegate first. Remember that we don't have to do delegation first. There are other approaches that we could take.